Okay, guys, I'm here today with James Klingemer. Guys, James, uh, he has done a bunch of instructional videos, and there is one that he, he has done that I watched, and it was very cool. That was all about the Von Flu choke. And uh, today he's going to show us how he does it. And uh, he's also third, de third degree black belt from. What? Indianapolis. Yeah, no, your instructor oh, is. Uh, Master Nibo Braga. Anibo Braga. And he has two schools in the Indianapolis area. And uh, we have been selling his videos on BGJ Fanatics for a very long time and always sells very well, especially this one, the Von Blue Choke. So I'm very excited to learn from him today. Let's do it. Uh, yes. Awesome. So, yeah, so the basic choke, uh, typically it's just a uh, guillotine defense, right? Um, so the way I like setting this up, especially in the beginning, is, uh, and this is perfect here. Um, so Bernardo's going to reach up, he's going to grab a guillotine here. So what I want to do, instead of immediately trying to fight this choke, is I actually want to try to pass his guard, okay? So I do this by placing my hand on his knee. Now if my head is to his right, I'm going to pass to his left. So as I go, I place my hand on his knee. I shoot forward and I'm going to hop over my hand, okay? So I get to side control here. Now the hand on the knee, so I jump over my hand. I'm not necessarily worried about where his knee is because I know exactly where my hand is on that jump. As I land, I'm going to shoot my body up high, right? So this free arm comes up this way, and I, I shift my body weight toward his head. This hand goes behind the head, palm down. I'm going to take a nice gable grip here, okay? So no thumbs on my grip. I lock it up. Now, the way I finish this is I'm going to find his neck with that shoulder, right? So I'm going to dip find his neck, and now I like to sit this hip nice and flat, and I just settle into the choke and give it a little squeeze, and <laughs> it taps, okay? So it's a very sneaky choke, it's kind of invisible, right? One more time? Yes. So remember guys, I touch the knee to hop over my hand because I can't necessarily see where his leg is, okay? So he goes for the choke, boom, I touch the knee, I go, and now I shift my weight up here, okay? I need to trap this hand in so my shoulder is kind of touching my neck. Hand behind the head is palm down. Nice tight gable grip. And then I'm just going to settle my weight onto that shoulder that's on his neck. And I can give it a little squeeze if I need to. <clears throat> and there we go. There's your Von Flu choke. Guys, very good one. And the, the first time I ever saw this movie was one of the instructionals. And uh, it's a very different choke because you don't, th at the first time, you don't think that is a choke. He's just making pressure on your head. And then when you see, you start feeling like that pressure goes to your, going to your neck. And then when you see, it looks like you're going to sleep. So just one more time here. Let's just see some details here. So look, I got the guillotine. He's going to jump to the opposite side. Once he got there, guys, he does something here that's even hard for me to explain. That he kind of like locks my arm here, and now his shoulder goes right to my neck. Look, and then when he starts pushing, it goes all to my neck here, and the submission is just there. So, very different one. And as he said, it's kind of like invisible, you don't see that coming. All you think is that, oh, I don't want to let go of the guillotine. And when you see her just tapping or going to sleep. So, really good one, James. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Awesome.